everyone, Amanda here from ScreenPinMommy.co.uk Thanks for joining me today and today I'm going to do something I don't do very often uh, not, No, not cut straight <laughs> I'm going to do male themed cards for you today I was asked by um, one of my followers um, if I would create some male themed cards so here we are So Stampin' Up! has the classic garage suite it's in the spring summer catalogue and this is available right until June it's not going anywhere so you've plenty of time to get it and it's on pages 42 and 43 we've got an awesome array of goodies there for you to create all of your male themed cards it's brilliant there are cogs to cut out and um, there are keys and spanner metal elements, a stamp set, paper, the lot. Okay, go and have a look. Today I'm going to be creating two little projects and then sharing a third one with you so that you've got three little ideas for your male themed things. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a Z fold card. Now I'll leave all of the measurements over on my blog at scrimpingmama.co.uk but I'll go through them quickly at the same time as well. So we're starting off and this is, um, is it crushed colour? I believe it's crushed colour and I have cut this to 11 inches by 5 inches and we have scored it at, let me just look at my measurements, we've scored it at 2 and 3 quarters and 5 and a half, I've already done my scoring in case I got it wrong, so 2 and 3 quarters and 5 and a half, okay. Now I'm going to score, uh, fold into my score instead of out of my score. Sorry it's naughty, but it's, you know, if you want to do it right, turn your card over and scour it the other way. I'm not too fussed. So you're folding like that, okay? So you've got a Z. And then for your second piece, I have used Tranquil Tide. And this has been cut to 11 inches by 1.5 inches. And we have scored it here at 5.5 inches and then 8 and a quarter. And that will fold inwards and then outwards, okay? Right. So then how you create a Z fold is the longer part sticks to the shorter part and the shorter part sticks to the longer part. So you put your long part like that, you stick your short part on there and then when it all closes, it all lays flat. And that is the principle of a Z fold card, okay? I hope you can understand that. It's very, very basic and very easy, but it looks awesome when it's done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to layer with some of the garage, um, classic garage DSP. I have pre-cut it and I'll go through the measurements as I'm going. So these two pieces here, okay, need to measure two and a half by four and three quarters, both the same. The papers in this paper stack are awesome fun. Let me just zoom out ever so slightly. Ever so fun. Um, and But mail cards is not something I do a lot of and I'll tell you for why. The only real male in my life <laughs> is my husband. We have a family full of girls. And, and my husband could not give one jot about handmade cards. He doesn't even look at them. He doesn't even read them. Really, like, he'll go, oh yeah, that's nice. And, you know, he's not interested unless he can eat it. <laughs> you know, he's not interested. Um, he's just, he's a man's man. He's just not bothered. Um, so... You know, I do make them sometimes, but I don't go out of my way to buy a lot of male themed stuff. Um, and if I'm in a rush, I will just go and get him a cheap one um, from a shop somewhere. Rather than <laughs> spend ages pouring love into it. Um, but for those that do appreciate it, some men do appreciate handmade cards. And we still like to make them, don't we? I might save this and give it him for his birthday in September. <laughs> so those two pieces are the same. This third piece here needs to measure five and a quarter by four and three quarters. Okay, and I've chosen a completely different paper to showcase some of the different ones. I don't care if they clash, the colours are all matching, so I'm really not bothered. I'm going for, you know, Fun and funky. 
and it will fold flat and go in a normal envelope. that on there nicely okay so that is our the first part of the card finished so I'll just bob that to one side whilst we do the layering on the Z fold so your first layer is here and this measures five and a, five and a quarter by one and a quarter and this is another piece of uh, the paper from the from the paper stack and it looks like maps it's awesome um, I'm also going to show you a little tiny quick handmade gift um, which you could either put in with the card or you could attach it to the card. I'll show you that when I've done the card. If you, if you hang about then you won't miss it. And then for the two smaller parts you want two pieces. Both of these are cut to one and a quarter by two and a half. Okay. I don't suppose it matters which way around it goes. Uh, no, we won't have to. <laughs> oh, there's the the uh, bikes on the back of the right way, so that guides me which way around it is, so it's that way. Okay, and that'll just layer nicely in there, like so. And then the final one goes on there, and it has got the compass on so I know which way around it goes <laughs> makes it a little bit easier for me okay and then you stick that on your card now you can have this band here wherever you want you could have it at the top you could have it in the middle you could have it at the bottom I'm going to go quite low to the bottom I think but not right at the bottom because I'm going to attach things onto it okay so about there about three quarters of the way up so how I'm going to get that straight let me show you First of all, I'm just going to um, rest it on my card here so I can assess how much glue I need because I don't want glue on all of that strip, only on the part that's going to attach to the card. Okay, so let me put it on my grid paper and we'll go for that line there, that black line there. In fact, I'll just move it down a bit because I want to fit a sentiment on. Okay, so I'm lining it up there. I've got my card straight on my grid paper. I'll give that a press and then I'll fold this back and I want glue on there. Okay. And then what I should be able to do is fold all of that in like that. Okay. And then just press that down and it should all be lined up. Okay, it'll do for me. Okay, if you want to be a man, you can go and get your spirit level out and you know be precise. <laughs> Look at that, that's fun already. So, one other thing that I did do before I switched the camera on was I took some of the DSP with the cars, it's like vintage cars on it, and I have. Uh, fussy cut those. <laughs> I'm not done bad, have I? I think that's quite a good job. So I fussy cut them and I'm going to attach them now to my card in various places. Um, I might leave that one as it is and put them on here um, because that is a little bit, the cards are a little bit uh, wide to go on all of the bands. So let me see. I just cut a selection out to see which ones I wanted. I, I didn't know if I'd use them all. All right, so I think I'll just have just the one actually. And then I might put one up here. So I'm going to use dimensionals to attach my cards just to give it a little bit of, well, dimension. <laughs> Um, but because it's DSP, I am going to put three so that it's got plenty of support. If you want to, you could attach these, glue these to some cardstock and then fussy, re-fussy cut it to make it stronger. Um, I'm not that way inclined <laughs> today, thank you very much. And I'm going to stick it so that when the card's closed, it's kind of across the middle. Because I think that looks quite cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then when the card's open, we've got this here and then we've got some spare. I might have just one of these spare cards up here. I mean, you could put as many as you want on, couldn't you? Let's have a look. Which one do I like? Uh, I quite like that one. 
I think I'll have that one. But by fussy cutting myself a selection, then I've got a choice and I can see which I like the best. It doesn't take long to cut them out. If you're lucky enough to have a scan and cut, use that. Um, I don't mind fussy cutting, it doesn't take that long. So I can attach my car there. Okay. So we do want a little sentiment. Now I don't have the um, actual suite. That, if I just move that over, it'll... I just... I didn't plan that very good. Let me just move it over because what I can do then is if I do it while that's closed and then position my car then you can see it. It's just tailing off a little bit there but this card is only, what is it, five inches so there'd be room inside, it's fine, yeah, just there'd still be room inside your card for that um, otherwise move it in but I think that looks cute. So for my sentiment, I'm going to use, um, I'm actually going to use Thoughtful Banners. So I think it's a really nice set. I've not used it in ages and I don't actually have the stamp set to go with the um, with this suite. You know, it's not something I use a lot, mail cards, so I didn't purchase it. But I can still make good use of the DSP. And I'm using Tranquil Tide because I know that that colour is in that DSP and I'm mix and matching it with other things that I've got in my collection um, and there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to have everything okay so that is let's have a look what shall we have on um, birthday the thoughtful banners set has got in it sun uh, sun it's got Father's Day somewhere. Father's Day, it's got Dad. Um, I wonder if Father's Day will fit. Let me have a look. Because we've got Father's Day coming up in June, isn't it? Let me see if I can find it. Is that it? Father's Day. It's coming up in June. So I could uh, save this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my block over there. The reason being... I want to bend my stamp so I'm curving it to meet the shape of that uh, banner that I've created and that is a good thing about photopolymer stamps you can um, curve them if you want you just got to make sure it's pressed down right or else it'll come off halfway through we don't want that stick okay let's have a look yeah I'm happy with that let's give it I'll just practice to make sure, yep, that's fine. Ink it up carefully, and that's nice and curved now, is that? I'm hoping my mess of hair is not in the camera. Uh, and I've been able to curve that to fit my banner perfectly. Okay, hope you can see that. i zoom in ever so slightly. Awesome, I love that, I think it's great. And then I can use my duo banner, is it duo or duet? Double banner. There's two of them. <laughs> and I can punch that out and it will be absolutely perfect. And it does cut two out at once, so I can save that for another card. That's not a problem. And that looks lovely. I attach that with some dimensionals and then I'll show you a really quick, cute little gift. You can even get your children or your grandchildren to make this little gift that I'm going to share with you. And it's just a cute little handmade item. And we'll just put Father's Day and we'll put it there. There we go. Nothing complicated there. Anybody can make that. But it's awesome. Love it. Right, so for the little gift, let's just put the card to one side a moment. What I've got here is a little key ring. Um, that I have actually recycled from another key ring. <laughs> They're all over the place. And what I have here is a bottle cap. Now this is just a normal yellowy colour bottle cap. I've put it through my Big Shot. It doesn't do your Big Shot any harm. Um, it doesn't break your Big Shot. If you're worried, put some cardstock between the plates. I've done it loads. It makes no difference. And what I've got here is some more of the lovely DSP from the... Um, garage suite and I'm going to punch one of these 
dials, they're like car dials, aren't they? Should we have red? I think red would be nice, wouldn't it? I don't know, yeah? Let's have red. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that. I am using glossy accents. You can actually use the Stampin' Up! Fine Tip Glue pen. It will do the same thing. It just so happens that I don't have any. And so I'm using glossy accents. Um, standard glue won't suffice. Um, because this is like, it's got a plastic coating in because it's a bottle cap. I don't know if you can get the plastic coating out, actually. You might be able to. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get that plastic coating out. Let's have a look. Probably put my fingers off. And it's glued down. You can take it out. It'll take a bit of it. It'll take as much of it out as we can. Maybe not all bottle caps have that. If you don't have any in your stash, use a recycle a beer bottle cap. You can use anything. And I'm just going to bob that in there like so and give it a press now you can again use glossy accents to cover over the top I'm not very good at doing that technique I make a mess of it so what I always have to hand are these epoxy domes you can pick these up pretty cheap on Amazon or wherever I should imagine I don't want that one it's got muck I've had these in my crafty stash for about a billion years, I'm not even joking. And you just bob one of those over the top. And you do need to wait for that to dry, for that glossy accents to dry, okay? Now you could add that to your card as a decorative element if you wanted, okay? That would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? Stick it to there with a um, dimensional, okay? That'd look pretty cool. Or what you can do is you can, if you've got one of these fellas, which is the cropper dial, if you use the smallest hole, you can very easily put a hole in that bottle cap. Very simple. And then just grab some jewellery making tools. If you don't have an out, just, you know, probably brute force would do it. Okay, so I'm holding that with that. And that there, I'm just going to open, I'm going to try to uh, open that jump ring. It's quite a sturdy one. Okay, there we go. Let's see if that's enough of a gap to feed that through. Ugh, I'm not, I'm not a jewellery maker. <laughs> this is Kay's job. Kay should be doing this. My friend Kay is awesome at jewellery making. She'll be like screaming at the TV going, what are you doing Amanda, what are you doing? Well, at the computer. Right, I've opened it wide enough now. So now I can just slide that in, twizzle it about and squeeze those back together. I've absolutely mutated that. But you get the j drift. And perhaps uh, if you're better at this than I obviously am. <laughs> Not. But then you've got yourself a little keychain. In fact, this one that I made earlier, I am going to attach to my card. Why not? Not that card. That's my other card. This one, I'm going to attach it. And so I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back. You could use thread if you don't have anything. You can put a hole in your card and add that to your card. I'm going to put it on there like that. How cool is that? <laughs> I think that's it. Really impressed. So then we've got a card, we've got a little keyring, and then here is the other card that I made. And I again, I just used the DSP and I fussy cut one of the motorbikes and used the paper with the cogs. Again, I've used the um, thoughtful banners, I've used it on black cardstock, and I've heat embossed with white embossing ink. So there we go, that is my mail theme card. Um, commitments for the whole entire stamping up year because <laughs> I don't make ma mail theme cards very often so I hope you like that I hope you like the little gift um, with a little bottle cap I think they're really really cute so I hope you'll give that a try I'll leave all of the measurements over on my blog scrimpingmommy.co.uk please do go on over and support my blog leave me a comment I read them all and I really do appreciate it Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.